Hello and welcome, or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Georgie from Healing Moons, and in this episode we're going to be looking at Beltane, which is the last of the three spring festivals. As I just mentioned, Beltane is the last of the three spring festivals. Um, if you've been following my channel, then you'll have known that we've covered those already. Um, but if you haven't, then you can find them in a playlist, which I will pop below for you or link somewhere. Um, so you can catch up with those. And Beltane is often also known as May Day, which is observed obviously on the 1st of May. Um, Beltane is quite often observed on the 5th of May. So there is a, a slight difference in dates. Um, but the, the spring festivals are all about fertility. And as this is the last one, it's all about the plants, animals and us humans all getting ready for the warmer weather. And the, the colours and things that you can associate with this, um, normally you'd use them as ribbons, which are bright blue, lavender, warm pink, lemon yellow and white would be your traditional colours for Beltane. Um, traditional colours of May Day are red and white, representing the, I've got my notes here, um, the blood that flows from the woman when her purity is taken. So it's quite um, symbolic in a lot of ways, the colours that are used, whether it be for May Day or for Beltane. And to celebrate, you can, if you have a back garden with trees in, you can pick a, a tree that's in your back garden or find one nearby that's appropriate that you, you're not going to get in trouble for decorating. Um, but then you can decorate it with the ribbons and bows in the colours that I just mentioned as well. And this particular holiday um, represents the union between the Lord and Lady from a pagan standpoint. Um, the Lord and Lady are, I suppose in some respects, kind of like your Adam and Eve. They are the, the top of the, the hierarchy when it comes to the gods and goddesses that pagans work with and would be the next step down from the divine source itself. So that's kind of a crash course on what the Lord and Lady represent. The house decorations that you can include um, would be a large bowl of floating flowers if you wanted to, to bring that into your altar at this time and so floating candles as well can be also used. Um, obviously make sure that you're being safe when using candles. Um, baskets of fresh flowers um, picked in moments before the dawn um, can be hung at the front door and a mantle can be laden with greens and flowers flower petals can be strewn about your circle and which can later be swept into a pile and distributed around the perimeter of the house for protection so those are kind of the basic bits and pieces that you can do around Beltane. Obviously, if you want to keep it small, then you can just decorate your altar by laying flat flowers out, um, obviously decorating a tree if you want to. Um, but if not, you can just kind of keep it simple. Use those colors. If you're out and about, you can pick wildflowers to bring those in to place on your altar. Um, you could even have sprigs of lavender if you wanted to because they're part of the colour and things like that that you would bring in so you can use those flowers that that link with that as well um, and I personally quite like using is the essential oils as well if you're doing um, candle magic at this time and things like that or if you just wanted to to anoint a candle for this occasion, then you can use those essential oils and bring that into your practice as well. For me, from a cyclical standpoint, this is 
the same sort of phase as when the moon is coming round. You've got the first quarter moon, um, which is when the moon looks half full and you've passed that and you're heading towards the full moon. So it's the time to really start putting yourself out there, any plans that you've made that you want to bring to fruition. It's the time to to really start putting that out there and 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 taking the although you've been taking action steps it's to kind of solidify that that is what you want and also possibly reviewing as well whether it be the progress that you've made so far throughout the year like you would if you were doing um, the moon cycle throughout the month and checking in seeing what's working what isn't working and to kind of refine what it is that you are taking action on because obviously if something isn't working you can drop that out and maybe replace it with something that could potentially work better and reinforce and refocus on the things that are working well for you at this point in in your manifestation work and what it is that you're the goals that you're working towards so it's, it's a good time to kind of check in with yourself as well if you're doing it as a, a yearly cycle. And I'm, I'm aware that I've been running this channel for, I think it's a, a year in August time. So my plan is that once we've covered all of the, the Sabbaths and... Um, solstices and things like that once we've covered all of those for the course of a year then I'm going to focus more going forwards on the the more practical side of it so giving you examples of rituals that you can do that coincide with these and I'll pop them I'll pop these in a playlist which I mentioned previously but then going forwards we'll start looking at those once we've completed one turn of the will or turn of the year and to kind of build on that knowledge and that practice for you as well and on that note if you're using candles at this time as part of your ritual practice then you can use the colors that I've previously mentioned which were um, blue lavender pink or yellow and white representative of the season if you want to focus more on the fertility aspect then for me personally green comes to mind so you can pick whatever color resonates for you at this time in your practice um, and as I said previously use whatever oils you feel called to do so as part of it as well and as it's a fertility um, festival then or Sabbath I should say then to me it also very much represents children and bringing a, a new life into the world so it's about the duality of counterparts relationships um, but even coming into balance within yourself to then be able to bring forth and birth an, an idea, a project, whether it be actually having children or whether it be something else that you creatively want to bring into and birth into the world is all a theme of this particular Sabbath. I think that's about all that I have for you today. So thank you for joining me and I really appreciate you for being here and for being part of this channel and part of the community. So if you feel called to do so then please feel free to like comment or subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next one until then love and light take care bye